Hi, I am Alexandre Albaleris. Today, I want to discuss an exciting proposal for implementing a rapid antigen testing program for staff and a contactless QR code scanning system at OneTech Steel Fabrications. As part of our continuous improvement efforts, these initiatives can bring numerous benefits to our workplace. So, let's dive right in. The first thing we need to consider is how we can ensure the effective use of both the rapid antigen testing program and the contactless QR code scanning system. To achieve this, we can develop a few strategies. First, we should provide comprehensive training sessions for all employees, educating them on the importance of these measures and how to use them correctly. We can also designate a team of champions who will act as ambassadors, promoting and supporting the use of these systems throughout the organization. Adjusting and communicating these changes effectively is crucial for their successful implementation. We should start by creating a clear communication plan that outlines the purpose, benefits, and expected outcomes of these initiatives. It's important to involve all stakeholders early on, such as employees, supervisors, and management. Town hall meetings, regular email updates, and informative posters can be used to disseminate information and gather feedback from the affected stakeholders. Speaking of stakeholders, let's identify who they would be in this case. For the rapid antigen testing program, stakeholders would include all employees, supervisors, the HR department, and the company's health and safety committee. As for the contactless QR code scanning system, stakeholders would involve employees, customers, the IT department, and the management team overseeing customer service and logistics. Once we have implemented these initiatives, it's crucial to communicate the outcomes effectively. In the workshop, office, and delivery services, we can use notice boards, team meetings, and digital platforms to share the positive impact of the rapid antigen testing program and the contactless QR code scanning system. It's important to emphasize how these measures contribute to the safety and well-being of our employees and customers. Now, when it comes to customer feedback regarding the contactless QR code scanning system, it's essential to keep the relevant employees informed. This includes the customer service representatives, logistics team members, and the management responsible for maintaining strong customer relationships. By involving these employees, we can ensure prompt response and continuous improvement based on customer feedback. Let's talk about the anticipated costs. Implementing a rapid antigen testing program and a contactless QR code scanning system will require some financial investment. We should consider the expenses for purchasing testing kits, training sessions, equipment, and infrastructure upgrades. The HR department, health and safety budget, and the IT department would be primarily responsible for these costs. To properly monitor the effectiveness of our continuous improvement processes, we can employ several strategies. First, we should establish key performance indicators, KPIs, to track the impact of these initiatives on workplace safety, employee satisfaction, and customer experience. Absolutely. Regular audits and inspections are important for monitoring the effectiveness of our continuous improvement processes. We can conduct internal audits to assess compliance with the rapid antigen testing program and the contactless QR code scanning system. This will help us identify any gaps or areas for improvement. Additionally, we can implement feedback mechanisms such as suggestion boxes or online surveys to gather insights from employees and customers. Their feedback can provide valuable information on the effectiveness of these initiatives and help us make necessary adjustments. Furthermore, data analysis is crucial for monitoring effectiveness. We can collect and analyze data related to employee health and safety incidents, customer satisfaction levels, and operational efficiency. By tracking and analyzing this data, we can identify trends, measure the impact of our continuous improvement efforts, and make data-driven decisions for future improvements. Now, let's talk about supporting improvements both now and in the future. Here are three methods the organization can utilize. Continuous training and development, 
we should provide ongoing training and development opportunities for our employees. This can include workshops, seminars, and online courses to enhance their skills and knowledge. By investing in our employees' growth, we can foster a culture of continuous improvement. Cross-functional collaboration. Encouraging cross-functional collaboration within the organization is essential for generating innovative ideas and fostering a culture of improvement. By bringing together employees from different departments and levels, we can leverage their diverse perspectives and expertise to drive positive change. Benchmarking and best practices. It's important to keep an eye on industry trends and best practices. Benchmarking our performance against other successful organizations in our industry can provide valuable insights and ideas for improvement. By learning from the best, we can stay ahead of the curve and continuously enhance our processes and operations. And there you have it. By implementing a rapid antigen testing program for staff and a contactless QR code scanning system, we can enhance workplace safety, improve customer service, and demonstrate our commitment to continuous improvement. Remember, it's important to develop strategies, communicate effectively, involve stakeholders, monitor effectiveness, and support improvements for long-term success. Thank you for joining me in this vlog. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more informative content. Until next time, stay safe and keep striving for improvement. See you soon.